Hey guys, what's up? It's Phil, and welcome back to another Animal Crossing New Horizons episode. Nintendo just released a trailer for the August update, and in this video, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to know, and we're getting started right now. So looking at the update trailer, we can see that the update is going to be released starting in July 30th. And like they have done in the past, it will likely hit most regions of the world midnight on July 30th. And so it looks like basically on Thursday at midnight, we're going to receive this update. Now as the trailer continues, we can see many different characters in the town with fireworks in the background. Okay, so the trailer is saying that we will have a fireworks show Sundays during August for both the northern and the southern hemispheres. Now at this point I'm assuming they mean that we will basically have four firework events in the month of August for both hemispheres. I don't really see anything saying that we'll be able to do fireworks during any other month. In addition to that, I see somebody special in Town Square hanging out and there's this little thing called Red's Raffle and it looks like you can run up to him and speak to him and there's some sort of game that you can play with Red. Now <laughs> I would assume that it's some sort of game that's gonna steal your money so just keep that in mind. Another really cool thing is the characters are shown with what looks to be like little party toys like something that you would have at a birthday party or a special event and something that I know that everyone is going to absolutely love is the ability to blow bubbles. I guarantee that there's going to be bubble blowing parties coming up soon. You just just wait. I guarantee it. Now here's something that I noticed that uh, the, the screen kind of changed really quick but I, I, it caught my eye and that is that Isabel is standing out in the town square with her little star hairpiece thing uh, which is kind of cool because we've never seen her outside of the building until now so I'm really kind of excited to see what she has to say and see what she's going to be doing it looks like she's going to be coming out of the building I guess every Sunday in August now I don't know if that means that she'll be out every Sunday but it looks like for these special events she's going to be standing out in the town square now Isabel does have these little party antennas or whatever you want to call a little hairpiece thing and it looks like as the you know as the trailer goes on it shows that we will have the ability to wear these too which is really cool and on top of that there's different uh, types of um, shapes and uh, different colors that you can choose from so that's really cool adding to the customization aspect of this game is is just a, a phenomenal add here I think everybody will really like these little things and to beat it all, we now have the ability to do sparklers, which is really cool. It looks like you can actually take the sparkler and kind of wave it around and move it around and mess with them, mess with your friends. And so it's going to be really cool. I'm kind of curious to see if you have like, you know, full control over your arm so that you can do little circles or little figure eights and things like that. That'll be really cool. And then as the trailer goes on a little further, you can see a group of friends sitting together watching the fireworks with many different types of patterns in the fireworks. It shows Tom Nook and a money bag and uh, you know other various things like a leaf which is really awesome but there's also a little note in the bottom right hand corner it says you can launch your own custom design fireworks guys this is super duper awesome super cool because now you can go in similar to how you would do a custom pattern uh, for the for the ground or maybe for your town flag and you can actually draw out some really cool patterns so that they will show up in the sky. I'm really excited about this. I'm super, super excited to, to kind of write some words like one up feel, you know, blasted into the sky. It's going to be really cool. Um, it, it'll be super awesome to take some pictures of, of that. And I'm really excited to see what kind of custom designs that you guys are going to come up with. Guys, give this video a thumbs up if you are super excited for this new update coming in just a couple of days. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys are most excited about with this new update. Now, the trailer goes on a little bit further and they show something that's absolutely mind-blowing and I just simply did not expect this to happen at all, but it's the ability to have dreams and a new character is coming. But not only do you have just dreams, the trailer is actually showing that once you go into a dream state that you can have a conversation with a new character named Luna and she's going to allow you to access different dream islands guys are you hearing what I am saying now some of this is speculation based off of what the trailer is saying and so a lot of this information is probably going to be 
uh, proven true as we get the update here in a couple of days. But some of the questions that I have is how many islands can you have in your dream state? And, and do you get the ability to do this right as you start the game? Or do you have to get to a certain point in the game before you can start to do this? So I think we'll find out more here in the next couple of days as this uh, update has been released to everyone. And then if my excitement couldn't be any higher at this point, Nintendo is also with this update releasing a backup restoration service, an island backup restoration service. And what that means is that they are taking your island and backing it up in Nintendo land somewhere. And if something happens to your save data, something happens and something becomes corrupt, now you have the ability with a Nintendo Online membership to back up your island to Nintendo. And if something happens, you can just restore it from Nintendo. And basically what that means is you don't have to worry about your save data becoming corrupt or um, basically losing everything that you have because something happened to your Nintendo Switch. You know, there's a lot of people in our community that I've seen on different uh, Facebook posts and different things of people losing their save game. They turn on their Nintendo Switch one day, try to log into Animal Crossing, and it says, oops, sorry, your save game is completely corrupt, and they basically have to start over from, over from scratch. There is nothing that they can do to fix that, and I'm sure they contacted Nintendo and, and complained about it, and I think this is Nintendo's way of kind of stepping up their game, kind of taking ownership over some of this stuff, and providing to their players a, a great way to benefit from playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Now I know that we've covered a ton of different topics, ton of different things here, but they also released at the end of this trailer another news announcement of an update coming in the fall. And I really don't blame them here because Animal Crossing New Horizons is one of the highest selling, the most sought after games for Nintendo right now, and it's really one of the bigger titles that we've seen in quite some time, a couple of years I'd say. So. They are really putting in a lot of effort, doing a lot of things to try to keep the audience engaged, keep people from getting tired of the game. And to be quite honest, with all these updates coming out, I'm getting super duper excited about this update that's coming in the next couple of days and the update that's coming in fall because I think the fall update looks to be more kind of geared towards Halloween. So we see a little pumpkin here on the on the trailer. That's going to be super exciting to see, you know, what kind of outfits, what kind of furniture, what kind of different things that you can do with the Halloween type uh, island themes. It's going to be super fun, super exciting for, for all of this to come. So the video up next is going to show you how to kick out any villager that you have problems with. If you are interested in that video, then click the link here. Otherwise, hit the round icon to subscribe. And when you do, it's like throwing me a digital ham sandwich. It's so yummy.